Hi, I'm Dr. Akila and I'm a consultant, obstetrician, gynecologist and a fertility specialist practicing at Fertilite IVF Clinics, BTM Layout, Bangalore. So today in this video, I'll be talking about what is ovarian reserve and how do we interpret. Ovarian reserve is a term used to describe the number of eggs that a woman has. Why the ovarian reserve is very important and what is its relation with age will be discussed in a couple of minutes. When a girl baby is in her mother's womb, she will be having a fixed number of eggs of around 6 to 7 million in her fetal life. When she is born, she is left over with 1 to 2 million of eggs. As she grows and once she attains her puberty, she is left over with only 3 to 4 lakhs of eggs. Out of these 3 to 4 lakhs of eggs, only 300 to 400 will have fertilization capacity. And the rest of the eggs will undergo atresia, means the rest of the eggs die every cycle, like hundreds of eggs die in every menstrual cycle. So that's why age is very important. As women gets older, eggs also age and also the quantity and quality of the eggs also decline. So the peak reproductive years are between 20 and 30 years. When she is more than 35 years, then she needs to plan her pregnancy as soon as possible. But if she is more than 40 years, then she cannot wait at all. She needs to plan her pregnancy as soon as possible with assisted reproductive techniques through IVF. So what are the basic tests that we do to assess ovarian reserve are one hormonal test and the second one is a transvaginal ultrasound. When I talk about hormonal test, the two major hormones that we look for is anti-mullerian hormone and follicular stimulating hormone. So anti-mullerian hormone, it is done any day during a menstrual cycle. It's not related with the cycle. And the second is this hormone is secreted from the smaller follicles which are present in the ovary. Higher the AMH, better is the ovarian reserve. Lower the AMH, then lesser is the is the ovarian reserve. When I talk about the normal range of AMH is between 1.5 to 4 nanogram per ml. If her AMH value is less than 1.5, then she need to plan her pregnancy as soon as possible. But if the value of AMH is less than 1, then she cannot wait at all. She need to plan her pregnancy as soon as possible with assisted reproductive technologies like IUI and IVF. And the second important hormone is follicle stimulating hormone. FSH is an hormone which is secreted from the brain and this hormone is released into the bloodstream and this hormone acts on the ovaries leading to the growth of the eggs. Whenever the ovarian reserve is less, then the brain should work harder to act upon the ovaries and to, for the follicles to grow. So when the FSH value is more than 10 to 12 international units per litre, then our ovarian reserve will be less, means higher the FSH then lesser is our ovarian reserve. So every time the value of FSH should be less than 10 I international units per liter. I wanted to tell that FSH will be done between day two or day three of our cycle because it cannot be done any day of the cycle apart from day two or day three because it is cycle dependent. The third one is transvaginal ultrasound. Again, the scan also should be advised between day two or day three of our cycle. So in the scan, we look for ovaries, and what is the antral follicle count? We count all the follicles together, combining both the ovaries. At least the value, the normal AFC should be at least minimum 10 together, combining the ovaries. If the value of uh, AFC is less than six, then again, we document this as diminished ovarian reserve. Then again, whenever diminished ovarian reserve, you need to plan a pregnancy as soon as possible. So to conclude, Ovarian reserve is a very good predictor and it directly implies to the fertility potential of a woman. Thank you.